Hey, welcome back to our milestone projects for our C-sharp class. So we're ready to move on to milestone number two, which is called interactive playable version of our game. And so uh, you may have remembered that we did console application to begin with, which was simply a grid that displayed cells. Now we're going to actually play the game. So let's look at the details behind milestone number two. So we'll create an interactive version of the game. We're not going to have a mouse clicking on any squares yet. We're simply going to ask for the user to type in coordinate numbers. So some functions that we're going to need to use during this game. First of all, we'll have a function at the board level called print board during game. And this will show all of the squares that are um, either visited, means the user has already chosen to see that square, or hidden. And so it will be either question marks or uh, another symbol. So you can see that the print board during grid has displayed uh, three cells that have been visited. So cells 0, 1, and it uh, looks like, no, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 2. And uh, not only did it show the uh, empty squares, but we've selected some squares that have live bombs next to them. So they have a number 1. All the rest of the squares on the grid have not been visited yet. And so they, left, they are left with a question mark. Now to make this work, we're going to have to create a game loop. And so in your console app, you're probably going to use a while loop. And so while the game is still in progress, you're going to do four things. You're going to ask the user for a row and a column number. And then if, that, uh, if they chose a square that has a bomb on it, then the game will be ended. And we'll, we'll display a failure message. And then we'll check to see if all of the cells have been revealed. And if they have successfully cleared the board, then we will give them a success message. And if neither of those conditions have uh, happened, we'll just simply print the grid showing which cells are currently revealed. And so this is our playable version of the game, even though it's in a console app.